Hey friends, welcome, welcome to my segment of Craft Around the Clock. My name is Jane. This is Jane Belante Art. If you are seeing this, you're probably seeing the replay. Please put hashtag replay in the comments. Uh, so Facebook knows you, in fact, enjoy this information that you are about to receive. <laughs> so I just want to pull this up so I don't have to squint to see who's here. Hi, Teresa. All right, Teresa. All right. People are here. Woohoo! Hi, Connie. Did you all just watch Lindy? She made some really pretty eggs. Do you decorate your house for Easter? I used to be a huge decorator of my house. You know what? I'm just going to retract because I still love to make stuff, right? And I have a hard time getting rid of stuff because I become attached to it. So I'll put some stuff out, but um, I don't go, I don't go hog wild. So hi, Sheila. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much, Michelle. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. I have a delicious tea here with me. Hey, Miss Lindy. Hi, Debbie. And uh, I'm going to make some jewelry today. So some of you have seen me do this before, but I love it so much. So along with my house, I like to adorn myself, right? So um, let me pull this up so you can see better. Bring this back, bring this down. So today we're going to make some domino pendants and we're going to make some bottle caps. And so the cool thing today, <laughs> that's a little close to me, is... Um, if you are on my email list, you are going to be getting these printables this Friday. So if you want to get on my email list, every single Friday I send out fun printables. I generally do a tutorial, but sometimes I don't. It just depends on what's happening. But these are all bottle cap images. Look at how so cute they are, right? And then um, you're going to get these, which are also super pretty. And then you're going to get a whole page of domino images. So if you want to get on that printables list, if you look for the pinned comment here, it depends on what you're watching on. It might be on top. It might be on bottom. But it's the first line in uh, the pinned comment. And then you just go to a little thing and you put your email in and you're, you're good. And you're good. Hey, Joey. Yay. Let me move this closer so I'm not leaning over. Patricia from Ohio. Oh, thank you so much. I hope that you'll consider giving me a like and a follow. Um, I am a mixed media artist. I've been doing mixed media art for about 30 years. Um, so, oh, these are going to be so cute. I can't wait. I might even friend, friend my send. Did you hear that? Send my friend Lindy one. Maybe so. Thanks for sprinkling, Selena. Tanya from North Carolina. North Carolina. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Sylvia. All right, so let's get rolling. Um, I also have this tutorial uh, on my YouTube channel. I did it back in, let's say September or October, and I did it with some um, witches. So and some Christmas things. So if you want those printables, go find that on YouTube, and you can get those. So I want to start with the dominoes first. I do feel like the more high contrast images show up better. So like maybe this bunny here. Oh, they're all so cute though. Now, how do I choose? How do you choose? I'm just going to have to make them all and then just swap them all out. Um, they're just so pretty. And you love the weekly printables? Thank you so much. Mixed media has all been new. You know, and it doesn't have to be something that is so um, foreign, right? When people say, well, I don't really even know what mixed media is. Um, it, it doesn't have to be foreign. It just means different mediums together in one project. And a medium could be a crayon. It could be you know, paper. It could be paint. And lots of other things. But I do, by the way, have a $10 class on my website. It's called Intro to Mixed Media. If you're like, I think I might like that, but I'm not sure. This is the video for you. I go through a, and I, it's, and I'm not even going to say it's exhaustive because there's so many products that you can use, right? But I go through a pretty detailed list of some of the products that I like to use. And then um, I'll tell you kind of what media, mixed media is all about. And then you get two step-by-step -step tutorials for 10 bucks. 
I don't want to cut off his ears. I'd rather cut his feet off. My my dominoes must be a touch small. I think that's okay. Hmm, that's so cute. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is cut your image out. Then, and I actually am gonna make two because I want to. Because <laughs> I like my bunnies. Oh, this one is so cute too. Oh my gosh. Guys, you can get dominoes on Amazon if you want a link. If you're considering making a lot, I always get this little train case full. Um, and isn't it called train dominoes or something? Anyways, I always get this full and I, I just make a lot of them. Um, I used to sell them at my, I, I've owned three different stores. I used to sell them at my shops, but now I just give them away for the most part or I wear them myself. So the trimming's not going to matter. It's going to be a little bit large for the domino. So I'm also like at the end when this is dry before I put my special sauce on, um, I'll either sand it off or cut it off. All right. Dominoes are fun to play. Hi, Sherry. Um, I don't know how to play them. My son and his girlfriend play it all the time. My mom plays it. I guess we need to learn. We're actually converting our downstairs right now to kind of like a rec room, and we we're going to have a table where we can play games. So I think we're, we're going to get some dominoes in there. So right now, whoa, I am using decoupage medium. I sell this on my website, janebelanteart.com. It's like yogurt consistency kind of. So it's a little bit thicker. When you're using printer paper like this, it's just a way better idea to use this for your dominoes because um, a liquid medium is not going to last. And I know that for a fact because I used to make these with Mod Podge. Um, I've been making these for probably almost 20, probably 20 years. Um, so I know that for a fact. You don't have to buy it from my website. You can get it at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Joann's, whatever. But you have to go to the fine art section. And it's called Soft Gel. It's called Decoupage Gel on my website. If, but if you're out and about and you want to get some, Golden makes it, Liquitex makes it. Um, well, it's anything. There's a lot of people that make it. Don't get the cheapest one, though. I will tell you that. So I'm making sure that this is on here pretty well. And can you see, I'm just kind of really pressing into the edges. I want to make sure the corners and the sides are down because that's going to be really important. In a minute here, when I put the Judy Kins on. Hi, Jermaine. You love receiving my free printables. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so awesome, Patty. You're going to get some good printables this week. <laughs> hey, Sue. Well, awesome, Leanne. That's so great. New here, Selena from Louisiana. I love that. And thanks for sprinkling. Okay, I think I'm caught up. <laughs> that gave this a second to dry here, too. Now, I don't want this. It's kind of adhering to the side over here, and I don't want it to do that. So let me pull that up. I need a little glue on the side of the domino, so I'm just using my fingernail to get it off of there. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. So you can you can either sand this edge off. Can you see how much is off? I'll turn it that way. You can cut it with your scissors, but it's um, that might even be the route I go. Or you can use a little craft knife. A lot of times the scissors just cuts it really easy, but we're going to see in a minute. <laughs> okay, so it's two steps here. Decoupage medium. A thick decoupage medium. So either decoupage gel, soft gel, thicker glue. You probably could use Eileen's tacky glue here. You're welcome. Did you just hear her? I don't want to say her S-I-R-I -I name, but she thought I was talking to her. What is this world coming to when your computer just all of a sudden talks to you? <laughs> so weird. Nobody asked you, lady. She made me a... Uh, Lose my train of thought. Oh, I think I was saying you could probably use Eileen's, you know, just whatever you can use that's a thicker glue to get this paper on top. My hands are getting sticky. What do you think my... Oh, look at that. I'm just going to grab a baby wipe. Because 
if your hands are sticky and I'm really trying to push this down and push it in, my hand could actually, the finger could actually stick to the paper. When I pull it up, it'll pull the pigment off, so, or the ink, whatever. So I don't want to do that. They are, Sylvia. You're getting these uh, domino pendants. These are Easter. And then we're going to also do, right this very second, we're going to do two bottle cap pendants. So I really love this bunny with a bird on its head. Yikes. But these are so pretty. Oh, you know, I love that one. Recycled has a tissue that looks like that. Actually, so does Tim Holtz. I'm holding it up to the camera, and I have no idea if you even saw it. <laughs> Maybe I should check that first, huh? Oh, I got bottle caps a popping. I might, I might have done this really strange. Let's see if I can still get this in here. <laughs> I did. I did. I didn't leave enough paper on the sides. <laughs> I have a little. Darn it. Well, I could just print that one off. Again, I don't want to do it. Oh, there's dragonflies on this one. You will see that. So I'm kind of mad that I cut it like that. Let's let's do a real one. <laughs> Let me just cut this little edge off here. It's much easier when you're holding the big piece of paper, isn't it? She's so cute. She's got two eggs. Can you see her? Let me just see how they turn out. Hi, Donna. Hey, Miss Texas Breeze Creation. Can you use tight bond thick and quick? I don't know. My answer to you is probably. <laughs> I don't have tight bond thick and quick. All you have to do is try though, right? This one has so these seem like they're a touch under an inch, but we're gonna roll with it. What other one do I want? So I have this cute girl. <laughs> There's like kids in little suits. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Oops. So you won't be able to see these done on this live because once I pour this Um, this diamond glaze, I have to let it sit um, for hours. I am having problems with things just flying off of my desk lately, so I'm trying to be really careful of where I'm putting this stuff. Okay, we have two. We're going to go with that. I don't know if I'm going to go with this guy. I almost think, so what I was saying at the beginning, um, I don't know if you can see it. It's so cute, right? But I do think that images that have higher contrast show up better after this glaze dries. So you can experiment. Like this bird has the glaze and it doesn't have a ton of contrast, right? When you walk up to it, you're like, oh, that's pretty, but can't really, the higher contrast you can see from farther away. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with these. I'm gonna glue them down into the bottle cap with the decoupage medium. The thick decoupage medium. Along with that decoupage medium, you can find tons and tons of fun stuff on my website. I have lots of cool stuff. I have decoupage papers and um, molds and transfers and watercolors. I got a whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. All right. So you really want to make sure that this is glued down. And again, I, I would not use a Mod Podge or something um, liquid as your medium because it doesn't stay. 
And it's really important when you're putting this glaze on that this is all the way down because if an air bubble occurs, it's gonna occur under an unstuck piece of paper on here, right? A little part of it will be up and then that affects how your resin lays down, right? And it also affects bubbles forming in the resin as it dries. So as it works its way out, right? Three hours later, you're like, oh my gosh, I have a bubble. I didn't see that before. And then it's kind of ruined. So just you just want to make sure that it's all the way down. Hopefully that all made sense. I felt like I was kind of babbling there, but <laughs> but you tell me. Did that make sense? Happy Valentine's Day. Is there a theme I'm going with? Well, these are all Easter. They're all Easter. So I guess I would say yes. I am going with an Easter theme. I love this guy. <laughs> Where's the camera? Isn't that cute? Which way do I go? Isn't he cute? I love him. <laughs> I love him. Jeannie. Oh, is it raining by you? It's starting to rain here too, actually. We've had, I mean, it's so strange. We've had two 50 degree days here in Wisconsin. And I, I got a reminder on my phone um, on this day. I don't know when it was, but it was negative age. That's no, more normal for February, right? Just like so cold, so done with winter. And this year, it has been mild as can be. Are we in like a El Nino or La Nina year? It gets so weird. It's just not normal we've had a ton of rain and for that i have to say that i'm grateful because a ton of rain um is better than a ton of snow right <laughs> you get two inches of rain that'd be what uh 24 inches of snow isn't 12 inches isn't a foot of snow an inch of rain somebody tell me i think that's right my husband always says that anyways maybe he's wrong Oh, you know what I want to do before I put this away is I want to just put a coat on top of on top of these guys. Oh, you know what though? Retract. I want to get this little edge off first. And then I'm going to put it down. See how easy it is just to cut it off with the scissors? Just make sure your corners are rounded a little bit. But you could sand it off. You could cut it with a craft knife. Whatever you got. Whatever it is that you have. So you're not going to believe how easy. Like this has already been easy, right? Now, you could just leave it like this, right? Put a little top coat on it. You could put a top coat of that decoupage medium on it. And that'd be cute just like that, right? But we're going to make it even cuter. Same with the bottle caps. You know, you definitely don't have to put this. So it's called diamond glaze, and I'll show it to you in a second. Um, it's like a resin, but way easier. It's a dimensional adhesive, but it works just like a resin. You actually, if you have, if you're somebody that has molds and things, um, you actually can use it in your in your molds too to make jewelry. That little side part is being a stinker, so as well as that. This one's really cute too. <laughs> it's so backwards where I put my hand. Isn't he cute? Okay, now I'm gonna put that decoupage medium on top. And the reason why I cut it off first is because I want to kind of cover these edges again. Because that's all going to ensure that these don't come up later. Yeah. This might be a pretty fast live here. Holy cow, these are going by so fast. Hi, Callie. 42 degrees in northern Wisconsin. Where are you in northern Wisconsin? I am in southeast Wisconsin. Just, uh. Just out of Milwaukee. A 
Those are adorable. And I'm 70 in Virginia. You are, Sherry? Oh, my gosh. Where do you get the bottle caps? Literally anywhere. They have them at every single store. Hey, Pat from New Unique. Thank you so much. Yeah, you can, any kind of molds you have. I sell molds on my website, but um, should we do one? Let's do one, because I feel like this is, um, I got lots of time left, so we'll do a mold as well. I just get these on my website. This is called Fragrant Roses. So again, you're not going to be able to see the finished product here, because I didn't do one ahead of time, um, but I will post them later when they're dry, and you can see how they turn out. So this is a really, really beautiful mold. Oh, I love these. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Let me see it. Love it. Love this idea. Okay. I'm horrible with my caps. Look at this. I'm just terrible. So um, if you want to be better than me and don't have your caps stuck together every single time, wipe off your cap. This is just beyond, beyond saving. That's beyond being be, being able to be saved. I know where Mercer is. Awesome. You're in Northern Illinois, Rusty? Oh my goodness. We are just neighbors. You take rain any day. I think our weather is moving up towards you, Pat. <coughs> Thank you, Janine. Okay. So if you're just joining me, if you're not on my printables list, you're going to be getting these this week. I do a new printables in my newsletter every single Friday. This week, I'm giving you these domino pendant or whatever. You can use them for whatever you want. Make tags with them. That's fine, too. Um, and then you're getting two bottle cap images. These are all Easter, all Easter image images. Um, the link to sign up and get on my printables list is in the pin comment. It's the first thing that you'll see there. All right, I'm just making sure my, my fingers are a little gluey. All right, so next. So this is the Judykins Diamond Glaze. You can get this on Amazon. Um, I have it in my Amazon shop. If you go to my website, janebelanteart.com and click shop, there's a button or there's a clicker, clickable thinger that says more art supplies. That's how you get to my shop. This is in there. Otherwise, you can just search Judykins Diamond Glaze. And this is what I'm going to use. Now, you do not, you want to be very gentle with this, with bringing it up and bringing it down, because the more times you do it, the more bubbles occur. So you want to just kind of um, be careful with that. I'm just going to put a little bit of heat onto these because they feel a little sticky. And that way, when I'm handling them, I won't, I won't ruin them. So the dominoes get a little bit tricky, but they're not, they're still super easy because they have the little hanger, <laughs> that's the official word, in the middle. So it makes them uneven, right? I do want to grab, hang on, I want to grab something to put these on so I can move them off of my... This is even something. Not very flat, is it? Well, we're gonna fix that. I'll put a little shim under there for now, and then I'll have to just move this along with it. <laughs> All right, we do what we can, right? Anyway. Too high with this. That works pretty good. Okay. All right. So this is so easy. It's so easy, but I have to pull my sleeves up just in case. So we'll start on these first. 
And you see I'm going pretty slow because I don't want to create a whole bunch of bubbles. And then you just squeeze it. And there's still bubbles in there anyway. So just know that the more you handle this, the more bubbles come. But bubbles aren't a huge big deal because you can pop them. So I'm just filling this up as much as I can. I'm going to stop squeezing. I'm going to go to the next one right away so I don't have to keep bringing the bottle up and down. Get off of there. Okay, so when you're doing your dominoes, you want to start and try to get as close to one of the edges as you can. It's okay if your resin um, diamond glaze, whatever it's called, goes off the edge. You can wipe it off while it's dry. If you don't catch it when it's dry, um, you can kind of chip it off. It's definitely easier. I should say, if you don't catch it when it's wet, you can chip it off. So sometimes I'll just use, so now I'm not squeezing to have any more come out. I don't know how well you can see this. I'm gonna put this right in front of my face. So there's an edge right here that isn't filled and I'm not gonna squeeze, but I'm just gonna take the top of the bottle, the tip of the, the tip of the bottle, and you can pull the resin over. Now I have a little bubble right there. You can just take your bottle and slap it. <laughs> take your bottle and slap it. Just got a big bubble that came out again. You can catch it right away, or you can do it after. So listen, I have been making these for a super long time, right? 20 years, 15, 20 years. So it might take you a time or two to get this, to get it right. You know, and to feel like, yep, that's exactly how I want it to look. There's a bunch of bubbles in here, so I'm just going to try to move them. Sometimes you can lift them, too. So we're going to try to do that because those aren't coming. I, don't, I, I doubt you can see the bubbles. I don't want to move this too much. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because it's so glary. But there are definitely bubbles in both of these. You bought the two-ounce bottle of Diamond Glaze at Hobby Lobby in the stamp section. Yeah. Hi, Sandy. Um, hi, Juanita. Oh, that's nice, Sherry. Um, sometimes they don't have it at every Hobby Lobby. So that's why I always just say, you know, and some people have told me they found it at um, Walmart. So I'm actually just going to try to lift some of these bubbles out. Can you see? And then I'll just take and wipe it off. But while it's wet, it's easier to do. When it dries, if it dries with bubbles in it, you just have a bubble in your necklace. There's nothing you can do about it. But this dimensional adhesive is pretty cool. You can just use it on top of things. So say you want to kind of highlight, you know, a rose in one of your paintings or on a decoupage paper, you can put this medium on top, this um, diamond glaze on top, and it'll dry clear soft and raised see i'm just kind of lifting out these little little bubbles all right do you see them aren't they cute do you like them <laughs> sorry this is in front of my face <laughs> let me pull it back up Okay, I'm going to just set this over here, so bear with me. I gotta take my little shim. So you definitely need to place it out of the way of cats and children, right? So put it in a place that your cats can't get to um, if you have a cat and your kids because um especially when they start drying 
um, if anything wreck, if anything, you know, jostles it, steps in it, puts a finger in it, whatever, they'll be totally ruined. So. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, that, that doesn't, you can, Sylvia, but it doesn't work that great with this because it's not a full-on resin. It's just a dimensional adhesive. So you can, but you also, too, need to make sure that you are in a well-ventilated area if you're going to do that. Um, and it doesn't well work as well as like a traditional resin with um, heat or a torch. All right. Three printables you're going to get. If you're not on my printables um, email, I send them out every single Friday. You're going to get these Easter images this Friday if you are on the list. Um, I'm sorry, I missed what you used to cover the pictures. Do you mean cover the pictures? So I'm using this Judy Kins Diamond Glaze. So we're going to make some, since I have time, everything is sticking to this a little staticky. <laughs> What time is it? I still have 14 minutes. Oh my goodness. What else can we do with this? Maybe I'll show you how to use it as a just leave it as dimension too. On a, on a, maybe a decoupage paper or something. Oh, I know what we could do it on. It's really pretty um, butterfly wings. Okay, <laughs> I get excited. It's so much fun. Okay, so I'm going to use it and, and I'm going to pour it in this mold um, because it isn't um, mushy. I don't need to put anything in the mold ahead of time. By mushy, I mean air dry clay or pixie dough. Now in these, I don't so much mind if there's a bubble showing on the back, because if you turn this into a pendant, you're not gonna see that bubble on the back, right? So see, I just kind of squeezed it. Isn't that fun? Um, if there's a big bubble though to begin with, I usually pop it. And the bubbles will always raise to the top. Right, and so the top, in this case, will be the back of the pendant. So when you're using it in molds, it's not that big of a deal, right? Let's make some bigger ones. I love this one. This is really pretty. Let's see if this, let's see if this works. A big old bubble there and then as soon as i fill this and do the butterfly i'll show you how to put the veil on the back of the bottle cap and domino pendants and then you can just put on whatever cord or chain that you want to have on it I'd say you could do this with kids, um, but you would definitely, I think those kids need to be a little bit older in order to handle this. That might be kind of a fun project to do, you know, with your granddaughter or grandson. You gotta, you gotta do it when they're sleeping over though, right? Because um, you can't look at it until the next day. All right, so that's really cool. These are going to be a lot of fun. No, this is not a paint pixie mold. This is called Fragrant Roses. You can find it on my website, janevolanteart.com. I have tons of molds, tons of fun, fun stuff to play with on my website. This too, you need to let sit. You can't touch that. Oh my goodness, Jill, Jody, that's awesome. Yes, it dries rock hard. 
I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss anything. Comments aren't going so fast now. You must be totally enthralled. <laughs> okay. So you can use it as a, I wanna, I'm kind of trying to figure out if I wanna do something underneath this. I can't use distress ink because it's water soluble. Let's try these. So I'm gonna use the distress archival ink. So the archival ink is actually waterproof. So if I want some color to pop out underneath here, I have to use something that's not going to reactivate when wet, right? And a regular distress ink or a distress oxide ink, they are water soluble. Water will reactivate them. So we'll just color this butterfly. What color is this? Mermaid Lagoon. That's kind of pretty, huh? You see that? Maybe not. Maybe you can't. Put this way down there. This is picked raspberry. I love this color. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I do a little black inside of there. We deepen and darken this blue a little bit. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Maybe I'll just leave it like that instead of putting black. It'll just be the blue and pink. Because they make a fun purple when they when they meet each other too, don't they? That's so pretty. Can you guys see that? Do I need to put it on a piece of paper or something. You guys need to see that. It's so pretty. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, this is in my face. Also, you can see better. So look at, oh, they blended and made this really beautiful purple. So that was Mermaid Lagoon and Picked Raspberry. I love these little, these usually come in sets of fours. I don't know if these two came together as a set or not. I got them a long time ago, but um, a lot of times when I walk into Michael's, they'll have buy one, get one free. Um, on a lot of their Tim Holtz stuff. So, like, I really stock up when that happens. It's making cute. It's like a little stencil. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more of a pop of pink. All right. Oh, my goodness. This is so pretty. You think this is pretty? So, if this dries properly, you could make this into a brooch. You could also put it on, if you're careful, you could put it on um, a barrette and put it in your hair. But let's see. We'll see how it dries. I'll show you later on how it turns out. I'm actually thinking about, I'm going to put it on this. And I want to do, what do I have? Sorry, you know what? Maybe I'll just use these. I want the wings to stay like this, right? So let's see if this works. I don't know it will. I don't know if it will. But we're going to try. I'm going to be very careful. Oh, my goodness. I cannot stand. Those of you that have been following me, I know that I'm having this weird issue where my phone just disconnects all of a sudden. So sorry about that. Do you hear that little bell? It's like it says something about a microphone in my laptop. 
and then it just turns off and I can't figure out how to get that off of there. It's so dumb. I am going to use, what am I going to use? I don't want to ruin a brush, any kind of crummy brush. Here's a crummy brush. I'm just going to use a brush to pull it. I don't know that you can see this well, but I'm kind of pulling from this pool of the diamond glaze and I'm just getting it into these really, really fine areas. And I may have to do the rest of this after because I want to show you. I have five minutes, so we'll see how far I go. I just want to show you how to put the bail on the back of the pendants. And then you can string it up with whatever um, cord or necklace or chain or whatever you want to put it on. This is going to be so pretty. This might take me a little while, but you guys get the idea. I just got it all over my finger. Let's see. Did I throw it away? Garbage pick for a minute and pull my wet wipe back out. So I'm just using this brush. Now, don't use a brush that you love. Okay. Can you see that? So I've just got it on that one part of the butterfly. I will finish this off. And so you get the idea, right? I'm kind of made a pool. And when, where you have um, little details. You're going to need a brush and it's got to be a brush that you don't love because this will ruin your brush unless you wash it like instantly. Okay. So I'm going to continue to work on that. And then, um, I'll show you later on how it turns out. And it could, it could be that I won't show you until tomorrow. So you'll have to come back here and see. Um, I may as well just show everything all at once. So these have to dry, excuse me, the pendants need to dry. And then this butterfly will need to dry. So let me set him. It's a good thing I'm not running out of counter space in here today. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. Now my cat really cannot come in here. I'm going to have to ban her from this room all day. <laughs> you may not. Okay, so the next thing you have to do with the pendants, I just have two here, is um, you need to get some kind of a bale. And these, I you know, I buy them in bulk on Amazon. You can find them at any, any hobby store in the jewelry section. It's called a bale. You can use any size, any kind you want. Um, and you're just going to take, I'm going to just do silver because it matches. B7000, E6000, these work the best. Um, I don't use Eileen's on metal. I just don't feel like it works as well. Try whatever you have, okay? So I just put a little bit of the E6000 on there, and then I'm going to kind of match it up on the front to see how I want it to hang. And then you just make sure that you lay it flat down to dry. So this is Alice's legs. And just lay it down to dry. And then I have um, two finished. So you can see them when they're finished, especially on the dominoes, is they've got this hard coating on them that just gives it a little extra something, right? It looks so much cooler than just leaving the paper, um, you know, and putting a coat of the Mod Podge or the the decoupage medium. I don't, I don't want you to use Mod Podge on these though, so retract that. But they look really cool um, when they're done. It's so easy. And, um, you know, the bale just goes on just like that. Again, you let it dry. And then you can take, I always, I have tons of these black cords left. So they, they look fun on that, you know. Um, it's not like it's a piece of fine jewelry and you want it on a really beautiful you know, um, beaded necklace or something. Maybe you might, but um, these are just kind of for fun, right? So I will come back and show you um, when these are done. And like I said, it might be tomorrow morning. Be sure you get on my printables list. It is uh, the link to join it is in the pinned comment. If you want to get any of these um, printables this Friday, you'll get all three. And um, if you're new here, I hope that you will like and follow me. I like to make all the stuff. Um, come hang out at Jane Belante Art on Facebook and on my website as well. You'll find lots of classes, inspiration, and tons of fun.
So anyways, thank you so much for being here. It doesn't scratch easily. Hi, Maureen. Thank you. All right. I got to go. It's three o'clock. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day.